Hey guys, what is up? The x rays OG here today, and today's video is gonna be actually the first of today's videos. I'm gonna have two videos today. I'm gonna pre upload one, actually, I'm gonna upload one early in the morning, it's gonna be about eight o'clock, nine o'clock, and then actually, after that, I'm gonna upload another one later in the day. I'm gonna pre upload it, so I'm gonna get two videos ready for today. They're both gonna be Destiny 2 videos, so but this video is actually a little different. Um, it's gonna be Destiny versus Destiny 2. Um, basically the comparison of what I've seen grow from Destiny to Destiny 2. Um, basically the first thing I noticed right off the bat is that, I mean, obviously the graphics are better. We can all, you know, I mean, they're not like insanely better, but they're better. Um, the mechanics of the game, um, I feel like it's more smooth. It's, you know, you can flow with like, you know, your abilities better. Um, the ingram drops. Let me, let me start with that one. Um, the bright ingrams. Uh, I think it's a great idea just because it it gives a lot of variety and plus you know it depends on your grind of how many bright engrams you get that in comparison is how many you know more legendary and exotic engrams you can get out of those so right now I'm at 270 on my Titan and 240 on my hunter or no 250 on my hunter um, it's been pretty easy. Now, let me be honest. I beat Destiny 2 probably in half the time I beat Destiny 1. And, uh, you know, that's the only thing I could say that Destiny, as a franchise themselves, needs to actually work on making it a little bit more complicated. Because I beat the game in, like, a day. I'm pretty sure I bought the game and beat it in, like, one day. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna lie. So it was, like, you know, one day of playing, not 24 hours, but, like, a sit-down session of, like, six hours playing it. Um, it was pretty easy. So that's the only thing I could say is that they might want to step up their campaign a little bit. Now, we all get to see what those big triangle-looking ships were at the end of Destiny 2's campaign. Spoiler alert, if you did not beat the campaign, don't listen to this part. But at the end of, at the end of Destiny 2, there is these triangle-looking ships. We have no clue who they are. If they're a new bad person, if they're a returning bad person, who knows? We Now, personally, in a little... In my little opinion here, I feel like the Taken King is going to have a comeback in Destiny 2. For some reason, I feel like um, Oryx, you know, the Taken King, was never killed when you supposedly killed him. I'm pretty sure he's going to make a comeback in Destiny 2, or a leader of his, we'll have to see. Now, is the Triangle Ships the Taken Kings, or the Taken Emperors, whatever you want to call them? I'm not sure. Obviously, I'm not I'm not the creators of Destiny. I would not know, but we can only wait and see when the DLC comes out on who those people really are. Back to the comparison. Um, the drops are a lot more frequent in Destiny 2. I'd like never get legendaries, and I skipped right to exotic. So it was kind of like I never really got to experience any good legendary ones. In this game, they kind of vice versa. It. I don't get a lot of exotics, but I have still gotten more exotics in Destiny 1, but now there's a ton of legendaries you pick up. Like, once you get above 250 power, um, you just start picking them up. But as comparison to Destiny 1, um, basically, you know, it would take me forever to find, you know, new ingrams that'll keep leveling up, and it just, you know, it took forever. But this game is really progressive up until about 250 to 275 power. After that, it starts to slow down quite a bit. Um... I don't know, I definitely say Destiny 2 is a, definitely they improved on lots of their, you know, mechanics of the game, and, you know, all the, um, mobs look different, so, like, the Fall and the Taken, well, the Taken kind of look the same, um, the Cabal, obviously the Red Legion in this game, so they look a little bit different than the regular Cabal we're used to, um, if you look at the Hive, they all kind of got upgrades to their, um, how they look, and how they react, and the Knights, I feel like they balance lots of the bosses too, so I don't mean like the big bosses, but I mean like the knights and the captains for the fallen. Um, I feel like they balance those pretty well to where, you know, they're still defeatable, but they won't fuck your shit up. Because, you know, in Destiny 1, I, I found those, you know, two or three of them would just mess you up. But now in this, in Destiny 2, you can like, straight up slay them. So I feel like it's a really good thing that, you know, they worked on lots of the imbalances from Destiny 1 and incorporated new balances in Destiny 2. So basically I feel like the game's well, way well more balanced. Um, in Destiny 2 also, you know, it just, I feel like there's a lot more variety. Um, and there's just going to be a lot more to come. You guys got to realize that 
I bought Destiny when all four expansions pack, all four expansion packs were out for it. We have, we can pretty much guarantee there's gonna be four expansion packs for Destiny 2, and not even one of them's out yet. So, I mean, I am really excited for the future of Destiny 2. I feel like it's gonna just blow up. You know, I feel like they're gonna add so many engrams and so many, you know, cool new Easter eggs, blah blah blah. They might even expand on maps. Let's see if they do stuff like that. You know, maybe like you know when you go to Titan or when you go to Nessus. Let's see if they expand the maps a little bit, you know, add some new things to the maps. But, anyway, that's kind of my little comparison, my opinions on them. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment. Comment your opinion about Destiny 2. Um, what do you think has improved from Destiny to Destiny 2? Drop a like on this video. As always, I'm the X-Rays OG. And you